Linda Reynolds has shared with Sky News the moment Labor Senator Kimberley Kitching warned her about her party's plans to politically pursue her over Brittany Higgins' alleged rape. The revelation is just one of a series of exclusive insights about parliamentary culture and conduct to come up from Sky's upcoming documentary, Liberals in Power. Brittany Higgins' allegations she'd been raped by her Liberal colleague rocked Parliament and the Prime Minister. I have no idea what happened that night. But you know what happened in the politics of this issue? Yes, I do. And I think that's becoming increasingly clear. The politicisation of Miss Higgins' alleged rape includes Labor's wargaming of the issue in the party's Parliamentary Tactics Committee. Does the Minister accept that Ms Higgins felt pressured not to proceed with her complaint to the police. I don't Sorry, think you should Senator hide Gallagher, behind Ms Higgins you to by refusing point. to answer it, these not... questions. But Labor's personal pursuit of Ms Higgins' former boss, Linda Reynolds, didn't sit well with one of their own, the late Kimberly Kitching. You were given a warning that this hit job was coming. I was. She said, I'm so sorry, Linda, but I've got to tell you that Labor's about to rain hell on you in relation to the incident in your office a couple of years ago. The question time attacks on Linda Reynolds took a toll. She was hospitalised and then demoted from the defence portfolio. If I could ask Mr President, if I could have indulgence to answer this on Monday. And despite initial denials, Labor Senator Katie Gallagher has since admitted she did have foreknowledge of some of the Brittany Higgins allegations prior to them becoming public. The real damage was inflicted by... Labor and the Me Too movement and it was calculated, it was deliberate and it was cruel. It's not only Labor being accused of weaponising allegations. The Sky Special sees Alan Tudge take aim at Malcolm Turnbull for raising concerns about his conduct, including his affair with former staffer Rochelle Miller. Both Alan Tudge and Christian Porter backed Peter Darton on the day that Turnbull was ousted from the Prime Ministership. And the former education minister believes he was being targeted. It's not about who you voted for in leadership ballots? Well, of course it is. Of course it is. Every single one of those people that were one of the 43 people on that list, he has in his crosshairs. Despite the prevalence of the Me Too movement, Sky's documentary reveals concerns around Canberra's culture and its impact on the Liberal Party's standing continues. It's easily weaponised when... You know, these things haven't been dealt with continually. Is there a cultural problem at Parliament House? Oh, absolutely. Yes. A defiant declaration that the nation's most famous workplace remains embroiled in controversy with accusations of bad behaviour against some of the most senior politicians past and present. Tom Connell, Sky News, Canberra. Yeah, a deep dive there into the Abbott, Turnbull, Morrison eras. And don't miss the premiere of this Sky News exclusive documentary, Liberals in Power. That begins 8pm Eastern Daylight Time on Monday.